Hello I'm Igor and welcome to my tech one. Uh, maybe in this video I can give you some business idea if you have a dyed laser engraver. Chubarka company sent me some products for the review and uh, these are aluminum uh, anodized tags but mostly for aluminum but I noticed there are some uh, stainless steel parts too and uh, this is not a sponsored video. I mean I got these parts for free but I'm not paid anything about this. Maybe there will be an affiliate link down in the description I have to check this. But also you can get a $25 store credit if you email them and mention that you are sent by the MyTechFan YouTube channel. Now these small plates are from metal and the metal can be engraved with a CNC router or fiber lasers which are great for the metal. But I have only dyed lasers and that's why these attacks are sent to me to see what can I do with the dye lasers on them. If you are familiar maybe with my earlier uh, laser engraver reviews, you know that I have regularly that test where I am engraving a stainless steel and every 10 or 20 watt dye laser can engrave directly the stainless steel, uh, but not the aluminum. I have some partly success using the Brilliance laser ink on aluminum and brass and copper, but I wouldn't say that it's very permanent. But here we have this uh, anodized uh, aluminum where we have basically a small layer on the raw aluminum and with the, this dye laser we can burn off this uh, surface and that's how, how we can get this uh, very permanent uh, engravings and decoration on these plates. What I'm really missing on Chubarka website are the instructions how can we do this. So I couldn't find any information about the strength or speed for the dyed lasers, they have a lot of video tutorials how to uh, choose the size, the color, the material, but no information about the engraving with the dyed laser. I think the dyed lasers are much more popular compared to the CNC router or the fiber lasers, but that's why I'm here. So I will test them mostly with the 20 watt dyed laser, but I will do some uh, engravings with the 10 watts too to see uh, what settings I need to uh, engrave on, on this uh, anodized surface. And let's take a closer look of this text. Uh, so these uh, grid lines in the background are 10 millimeters or one centimeter, just for reference. Uh, for example, we have this, I think, for example, this is the regular size business card, but I noticed they uh, have different thickness too. This is a little bit smaller and these even have these holes here. These are some kind of military tags and then we have some interesting shapes like these stars, bones, different size of the disc and the hearts. Now for example here I noticed that uh, this is heavier than this one so this is probably aluminum and this looks like a brass or actually it looks like a copper but I hope it is some kind of stainless steel only colored because then I can engrave directly with the dyed laser on it. Then we have these uh, which we can use with the strap. Uh, actually these are my favorites but uh, some of them from aluminum but this is from steel. I think this should be definitely from steel. Uh, this is the bottle opener. I think this can be for example a nice part of the gift. I can imagine some engraving here like I know uh, if found delivered to my wife or something like that so uh, it is good for a joke. If you have some idea for the text then you can write me some uh, in the comment section. Then we have some interesting uh, decorations. These are very interesting shapes and uh, at first I thought this is for dentists but uh, this is actually uh, golf devots. I never heard about that thing but uh, this is what we have here. A lot of tags for the pets, uh, for example, you can engrave the number or something like that. And in case that uh, you lost the pet, they can find the number and call you in that case. And also we have the accessories, just you to mention. So these are different uh, straps, ball chains, S hooks. And at first I didn't know what is this, but actually then I realized the, we can place this around this uh, disc and then we don't have sharp edges. Hmm, rings for key holders or something like that. And it's time to start with the engraving and maybe I will use this one for the experimenting because first I have to find what speed should I use with, for example, 20 watt dyed laser because I want to use the maximum power. But the question is, what is the fastest speed to have great uh, engravings, lines or even field surface? 
I think it is important to mention a few words about the positioning of the engraving because it, it may be very critical with smaller tags. And also I will use the laser GABL, which is a free software available only for Windows. But since we have here only one operation, uh, laser GABL is easier for use and enough in this case. One of the positioning methods could be with the camera in the combination with the light burn I presented a few weeks ago. Or you can do some test engraving on a piece of cardboard and then you have the exact location of your design. In my case I will use the toothpick method I presented in the review of this engraver. Well, here I am setting the focus on the top of this surface. And then I am preparing the engravings. This is the light burn because I need uh, different speeds in this testing. And this is speed up uh, 10 times. So this test object has some lines and some field surface too. These are slower engravings and these are the faster. Uh, basically they look almost equal so I could use almost any of these beads and maybe on last or last two elements I can see that it is a little bit darker. Uh, I will do one more quick testing but with uh, much bigger steps for the speed. And this is light burn again but this time uh, I have a circles for the testing and this is again speed up 10 times. And let's take a closer look. Interesting these new engravings from 2000 to 10,000 mm per minute with a step of 2000 and the field surface is very similar so if I want to engrave something field surface I will use this speed but I can see in the quality of the line uh, this circle is a little bit nicer compared to this one so if I want to engrave some line art I will use probably two or four thousand millimeters per minute. So far I use the line burn because I can compile different speeds and type of the engravings in one operation. I still have the trial version because it didn't expire but sooner or later I have to buy it. It is much better than laser GABL. But from now on, because I know correct settings and I need only one operation for the further testing, I will use the laser GABL. And this is laser GABL. I will show you the settings. So light to line tracing and I am setting the speed to 400 mm per minute full power. And here I am preparing the dimensions. And then as you can see here I have the toothpick method I presented in the review video of this A20 Pro laser engraver. And then with a small offset, one click of the button, I can engrave on exactly the desired position. And this part is speeded up. This is again real time speed. And let's see the results. This is logo of my university and a small gift for me. But uh, I can see a light burn would be much better if I would have some kind of outline here. But I'm very happy with these results too. And now let's try this black surface. Again, boundary check with the toothpick, click on the offset button and then engrave in exactly desired position. And this is the result. Two more test engravings on the lighter surface and it's not so visible. And now I notice here you will see some flames and similar, so the, this is not really anodized aluminum. Well, I could even see a flame from time to time here, but actually it looks good if it is permanent. Uh, it looks like these three are painted and not anodized. Well, you are in an easier position if you place an order because I got a bunch of the tags, but uh, without any information, uh, which is which. And uh, I think this one is uh, again different uh, because this is stainless steel, but uh, more about it later. I will repeat now the similar engraving, but with uh, or reduced uh, power or increased speed on these two. Looks like the painting is more sensitive to settings, so these two are engraved with anodized settings, 4000 mm per minute and full power. This is 6000 mm per minute and 80% power and this looks like the best because I also tried 6000 mm per minute and 60% power and it's too light. Partly I could clean it with isopropyl alcohol and it looks much better now. And now back to engraving anodized aluminum. A flower and these are the initials of my family members. And two more engravings. My oldest daughter is a vest, so that will be a gift for her. And now this is stainless steel, and I have experience with this stainless steel. With this laser I need 100 or 200 mm per minute speed, full power. And this part is speeded up. 
looks very burnt but let's clean it a little bit and after cleaning and this is really burned into this material well this is what I got with the 20 watt dye laser so I don't really like these paintings and uh, for the steel well, it is okay but you have to go very slow and uh, from this anodized aluminum I like better the darker colors and now let's see what can we do with the 10 watt dye laser setting the focus speed up video another test engraving prepared in a line burn from 1000 up to 5000 millimeters per minute full power and basically I could use any of these settings but I will go just a little bit slower than the 20 watts so I will run everything on 3000 millimeters per minute full power and I will just do a few test engravings on the other side of this plate so these are my favorite colors anodized aluminum I removed the glass so the positioning is much easier now Engraved with 3000 mm per minute, so this is with 10 watts, and this is with 20 watt, 4000 mm per minute speed. Engraved with the 10 watt and 20 watt dial laser, very similar quality, and if it would be a little bit thicker, it could be a coin for the shopping cart. It says happy birthday in Hungarian, so this is uh, vectorized, only the outlines, and this is line to line tracing. So as you can see, this is much stronger, but of course needs more time for the engraving. And it will be part of the birthday gift when my daughter goes somewhere. Because here we will engrave the name of that person. And the final conclusions for the end. But well, as I mentioned, you can start some local business doing services for the others. My favorite objects are this bottle opener. And basically this, this could be a great business gift if it would be the size of the coin, you know, to use it for the shopping cart. I really like to work with the anodized aluminum because it is not so sensitive to settings. You can see, uh, I'm quite sure even with the 5 watt dial laser you can uh, get uh, nice engravings. Uh, you can start with between 3 and 4 thousand millimeters per minute speed full power for the 10 and 20 watt dial lasers and uh, you will get great uh, engravings, uh, there are no fumes and similar, so it is very easy to work with it. Of course, I really like better the darker colors. Uh, about these painted versions, um, these are not my favorite. They are very sensitive to settings, a little bit stronger or below the optimum, and you will not have nice engravings on these. About the steel, well, uh, for this you need at least 10 watt dyed laser to have nice engravings on it. Uh, with the 10 watt you can start with 100 mm per minute speed, full power of course. Uh, with 20 watt and maybe you can go up to 200 mm per minute, full power of course. Well, if you decide to buy these tags, uh, don't forget to get a $25 store credit. Just email to the Chubarka company, to their email. And uh, thank you for watching and um, happy engraving and don't forget safety first.